Hello everyone. Welcome to Amma Sub Tip Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enable offline access mode in Outlook on the web in Exchange 2019. Outlook on the web app can be configured to allow users to work offline. Users can continue to work when they are disconnected from the internet when OVA is configured to catch mail items and other informations on the user's computer. Offline access stored information for 3 days or 150 items of each selected folder on the computer. So when the computer goes offline, these items are available for access until the network comes online again. Remember, attachments aren't available in offline mode. Only your primary calendar will be available in offline mode with a limited set of upcoming calendar reminders. Offline access for OVA is designed for portable computers such as laptops and the notebooks. It can't be enabled in browsers on smaller devices such as tablets and the smartphones. Changes which you made in offline mode will be synced automatically when connection is established. So enough talk, let's see the steps first. For that, I'm going to click on Internet Explorer icon. Type URL https colon double slash mail dot msubtivabcast dot com slash uva and press enter key to access Outlook on the web. We will access Outlook on the web app using the Bharat Sarma's account. Let's sign in. To enable offline access, in Outlook on the web, we need to click on Settings gear icon. And here we have an option to enable offline settings. But for this guide, I'm going to click on Options. In the Options page, we need to click on General. And then after, we need to click on Offline Settings. To enable offline mode, we need to tick the box to turn on offline access. Let's select the checkbox. And now it will start asking about certain questions to enable offline access mode. The first one is, are you the only person who is using this computer? Your email will be stored on this computer so you can access it without a network connection. Don't turn on the settings if other people is also using this same computer. Bharat Sarma is only using this computer and that's why I'm going to click on a yes button. On the next page, it is asking us that if you see a message from your browser that asks for more storage, click on yes. Offline access needs additional space to work correctly. Click on next to continue. In the third window, it is telling us that the best way to reach Outlook when you are online is to select it from the favorite. To add favorite, you need to press Ctrl D. So let's press Ctrl D. And it is added as a favorite. Let's click on add. Perfect. Let's click on next to continue. Now you are all set to use. You can now use Outlook on this computer with or without a network connection. Click on OK. Perfect. Now we will have the option to add more folders to the offline folders list. And for that, we simply need to click on this plus icon. Here I'm going to select Inbox and when we select the Inbox, it is telling us that you can't add folders because by default, Inbox and Drafts are already synced by default. Let's click on OK and let's again click on the plus sign. Now I'm going to select a Send Items and the second one is going to be Deleted Items and it is telling us that you can't sync the Outbox or Deleted Items. Let's click on plus sign again and now I want to add notes. Perfect. And suppose if you want to remove any folder, that time you simply need to click on this across icon. Fine. When you are done with the configuration, you simply need to click on this save icon to save the changes. Perfect. As we have seen earlier that offline access will save over items for Internet Explorer in the folder on the local computer. And we also want to see that folder as well. But first I'm going to click on options. Let's go back to the Outlook on the web. 
and here I'm going to sign out from the Outlook on the web. It is telling us that offline access is turned on. With offline access turned on, some of your email is stored on this computer. This email can be accessed even if you sign out. Click on OK and let's close Internet Explorer. Now let's see that location where offline access will save over items. For that, I'm going to click on uh, File Explorer. Click on this PC. Double click on a C drive, Users, Bharat Sarma, and under that, you need to specify App Data, which is going to be a hidden folder. Then double click on Local Folder. Double click on a Microsoft folder. Double click on Internet Explorer. And then double click on Indexed DB folder. And here we can see one EDB file with the name Internet EDB. In this file, offline cache will be stored. And here we can see the size is currently 8.50 MB. Fine. Let me minimize it. And for the testing purpose, I'm going to disconnect uh, this uh, Windows 10 computer from the network. And for that, I'm going to click on Devices. Let's click on Network. And let's uh, disconnect it. Fine. Let me again show you that. Okay. Right now, this computer is not connected with our local network. Okay. Let's click on Internet Explorer. And as we can see, even this computer is disconnected from the network, still we are able to access our Outlook on the web. Let's click on the mail which we have received from our user Anand Panchab. Okay, this is the mail. And as we can see, we can read the content of that mail in offline mode as well. Let's try to view the content of our attachment. Well, here we are receiving message that something went wrong while the document review was being created. Please try again later as we are not able to access the attachment in offline mode. Fine. Let's try to compose a new mail. And let's send back to our user Anand Panchal. And as we can see, right now we are not connected with our address book and that's why we are receiving message that can't connect. Please try again later. Let's click on discard and discard the message. Sorry, let's click on discard the message. Perfect. So this is the way how we can enable offline access mode in Outlook on the web. Let's close it. And suppose if you want to disable offline access for all users in your Exchange organization, for that you can use Exchange Management Shell on your Exchange server. Let's go back to the, our Exchange server. And we need to open Exchange Management Shell. For that, we need to click on the Start button. Click on Microsoft Exchange Server 2019. And then click on Exchange Management Shell to open the shell. So now we want to disable offline access mode for our all users in our Exchange organization. And for that, we will use the CMD let set hyphen OVA virtual directory. And then we need to specify the name of our virtual directory, which is going to be ex19-mbx01 slash uva default website and then after we need to use switch hyphen allow offline on and then we need to specify no computer okay let's use switch hyphen bubbles and press enter key perfect the command is executed successfully that means we have disable offline access mode for OVA in our Exchange organization. To verify this, we will use the CMD delete get hyphen OVA virtual directory. The CMD delete is going to be get hyphen OVA virtual directory ex19 hyphen mbx01 slash OVA default website pipe format list allow offline on. Let's press enter key. And as you can see, the value is set to no computers. That means the offline access mode is disabled. And suppose if you want to enable offline access mode to all users in your Exchange organization, you just need to change this value 
from no computer to all computers. Okay, so same delayed to enable offline access mode to all users in exchange organization is set hyphen over virtual directory hyphen ex19 hyphen mbx01 slash over default website hyphen allow offline on all computers hyphen verbose. Let's press enter key and the command is executed successfully. That means we have successfully enabled offline access mode to all users in our exchange organization. That's all for this video. In this video, we have seen the steps to enable offline access mode in Outlook on the web in Exchange Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.